Now these three are still under the heading of factoring trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. However, these three have a GCF. So remember the first step in factoring anything is to always pull out the GCF. For the very first one there, our GCF would be 3x squared. Pulling out the 3x squared, we are left with another 3x squared plus 19x plus 6. The 3x squared that we pulled out stays right there. It does not go anywhere. We just copy it down. So off to the side, we need to do a times c. Our a is 3 our c is 6, so a times c is 18. The factors of 18 that add up to 19 would be 1 and 18. So we'll have 3x squared that we pulled out times the 3x squared on the inside. Instead of 19x, we'll now say 1x plus 18x plus 6. And now we'll group 2 by 2. Let me do that first. So group 2 by 2. From the first group, we can pull out just an x, and we're left with 3x plus 1. From the second group, we can pull out a 6, and we're left with, again, 3x plus 1. If you are not left with the same thing, then maybe um, you have to rearrange terms. Maybe you didn't pull out the GCF correctly, or maybe it just doesn't factor. So those are all possibilities. But if it says factor as the directions, it's most likely rigged to always work. Notice both of those intermediate terms inside the brackets have a 3x plus 1. Let me first write down the 3x squared. Then I can write the 3x plus 1 that they both have in common. And then if I took that out, I'm left with x plus 6. So that is the final factorization of 9x to the fourth plus 57x cubed plus 18x squared. Same stuff for part E. First pull out a GCF. I'm thinking that's a negative 4x. If we pulled out a negative 4x, we are left with 3x squared uh, plus 22x plus, uh, I'm pretty sure that's 35. So off to the side, I'm going to do this up top here. Uh, 3 times 35 is 105, a times c. The factors of 105 that add up to 22 would be 15 and 7. So instead of 22x now, we'll say 15x plus 7x. Grouping 2 by 2. From the first group, we can pull out a 3x, and we're left with x plus 5. And the second group, we can pull out a 7, and we're left with x plus 5. Great. So now both groups have an x plus 5. Again, don't forget to carry down your negative 4x. If we pull that out, we'll have x plus 5. Uh, times uh, 3x plus 7. So that is the final factorization of negative 12x cubed minus 88x squared minus 140x. All right, I would ask you again to pause the video, try to do part F on your own, and then hit play. See how you did. So the GCF of 8x to the fourth minus 24x cubed plus 10x squared would be 2x squared. If you pulled out a 2x squared, you would be left with 4x squared minus 12x plus 5. 
4 times 5, a times c is 20. The factors of 20 that add up to negative 12 would be negative 2 and negative 10. So we'll say 2x squared times 4x squared minus 2x minus 10x, again in either order, plus 5. Grouping 2 by 2, keep the negative with the third term. Sneak in a little plus sign in the center there. From the first group, we can pull out a 2x. And we would be left with 2x minus 1. And for the second group, remember we need to be left with a 2x minus 1, which means we need to pull out a negative 5, not just a 5. So keep the 2x squared there, pull out the 2x minus 1 they have in common, and you're left with 2x minus 5. So the factorization of 8x to the 4th minus 24x cubed plus 10x squared is 2x squared times 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 5 in any order.